Joe Rogan about Alex Volkanovsky versus Islam Makachev. Has Islam seen anybody that can move as fast as Volkanovsky? Yeah. And what true. if he starts catching him? What if he catches him a few times on the feet and if he can avoid a takedown? I mean, you're dealing with a significantly quicker guy, probably. Yeah. Fuck. He's probably never fought anybody that quick. Fight. Do you think he's big enough to compete against a guy like Islam, who's a really big 55? That's a great question. That's a, well, I guess we'll, we'll have to yeah, wait and see. Islam is big. Yep. I mean, he's, I don't know what he's cutting, but he's got the perfect physique for that weight class. Yeah. Like, he's a, he's very, very lean. You know, he makes the weight, and he he's obviously way bigger when, he, when he's competing. He doesn't yep. look anything like a 55-pound guy. The thing is the grappling. Like, remember, you know, uh, if you if you look at Volkanovski, he had a he's got real good takedown defense and he can take guys down, took Max Holloway down a bunch. But he's not the biggest guy, even at 45. Fighters react to T.J. Dillashaw retirement. ESPN MMA on Twitter. T.J. Dillashaw, one of the top bantamweight fighters in the history of MMA, has retired from the UFC. Dillashaw's agent Tiki Gosson confirmed to ESPN on Monday, via, at Mark Raimondi. News of Dillashaw's decision was first reported by Michael Wansiver. Cody Garbrandt said, Can't compete like a real man. Had y'all fooled for years. I wish Dillaroids a speedy recovery. I don't want any fellow colleagues to have long-lasting physical damage. Whatever he needs to do to get back to 100% is fine in my book. Just no second smoke says we'll always be here waiting for him. So we are all against competing while on peds, but how do you guys feel about someone purposely removing themselves from the pool to use them to heal from serious injury? Is this cheating? And sportsmen like... Wally Zhang is ready for a fight against Valentina Shevchenko. Yes, I'd love to face Shevchenko. It's a must, for sure, Zhang said on the MMAR through a translator. No question. I thought about this a couple of years back. Eventually, we will run into each other in the octagon because the weight divisions are so close. I don't know for sure if I'll take the belt away from her, but one thing I can guarantee is it's going to be a banger if me and the champ get in the octagon. It will be a great performance, regardless of the outcome. Maybe. Maybe see what the UFC says and then it's up in the air. I hope I fight at 125 pounds. I want to put on a great performance at 125. I don't want to go in just to be at 125 also because she's such a great martial artist. I'm willing to step into the octagon with her to learn from her. To share the female fighting spirit in there because she's one of the best in the world. My opponent adjusts myself. My opponent is still myself. It's not the person I'm facing, but rather the person I am. Paddy the Batty does not like Colby Covington. Well, I mean, that's, I hate fake people. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, as I've said before, I don't like Colby Covington because of the, the act he puts on. Mm -hmm. I don't like people who put acts on. Well, I mean, it's just not me. It's, it's annoying. Sean Strickland excited about potential rematch with Alex Pereira in the future. Yeah, fuck him, man. The guy, the guy fucking hits hard, dude. That motherfucker, he has fucking dynamite in his hands, but fucking, you know, got to get a couple wins under my belt and hopefully still the champ and we'd run it back. He's a fucking, you know, big motherfucking Brazilian that hits like fucking dynamite, you know? I mean, fuck. You, you, I'll give you guys a pointer. You stand in front of that motherfucker and bang, somebody's going to go to sleep. It's most likely going to be you. And if I fought the guy again, I'd do the same fucking thing. I'd put this hand a little bit more right here. Dana White and Patty Pimblet go off on Ariel Helwani. That's what does my head in when idiots talk about fighter pay. We get we get paid what you're worth. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hate all these journalists, especially the ones what earn off us. You know what I mean? Like Ariel Helwani in particular, like he loves earning money off fighters. Yeah. Like every decent job he's had, he's been sacked from. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and now he's just a, a biased content creator. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? And he hates on you, hates on the UFC, he even hates on me now. Yeah. And it proper annoys me oh. because he uses fighters for clicks, uses fighters to make money, and then tries to have the audacity to talk about the UFC and yourself, saying that they don't pay the fighters enough. Get your dough out, Ariel. You know what I mean? Start paying people for these interviews, what you make thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds on. And 
that I know that now because I make money off YouTube. So I know how much he earns off YouTube, off all his interviews, what he does. And you're doing it for exposure. No, you're not. You're doing it to put money in your pocket, Ariel. You little rodent. Lads. Woo! I just sat back and let that go. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt. He's a massive sack of <laughs> is what he is. Exactly. He's Lads. the biggest piece of, oh. of all time. And I couldn't have said it better. He wanted, like, when I was in New York for the MSC card last, last year, he wanted me to do an interview with him. And I had a paid interview that day, and he wanted me to really let go of that paid interview to do an interview with him right. for BT Sport, what he's getting paid for. And he said, oh, no, that's me journalist integrity. You're not a journalist no more. Far from it. You, Far you're from a, it. You're a content creator, Ariel. You're not a journalist. Stop lying. You're very biased in what you do and what you say. So true. And he went on his MMA hour and talked about me and my manager. And then I ended up messaging him. They're going to have to bleep this out. But my first line was, you're a cheeky you. Know what I mean? Yeah. And he didn't like it. But I was just me being honest. Right. Know what I mean? He was talking about me saying that, uh, I can't believe fighters and managers have got the audacity to ask me for money. Why wouldn't we? You're a content creator. If I'm Wait, who the f*** are you? <laughs> who the f*** are you? This dude's ego is so f massive and he thinks he's whatever. You know what the great thing is about him? He's completely f disappeared. So since ESPN let him go, I, I, I don't even see nothing even pops up. I hear nothing about him. I see nothing about him. It, it, I, I literally don't even know that guy exists unless somebody brings him up to me. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing and you're exactly right. He's Wait, a piece of Yeah, he is. He's a maggot. Ariel Helwani responds. Some of the blatant lies that were told in that little exchange between one Patty Pimblett and Dana White. I honestly don't mind and I don't get upset and I don't get down when people call me a shit journalist, a bad host. What bothers me though, is when people lie. That's what bothers me. I don't like when people lie. How am I profiting off of fighters? Uh, in a moment, you'll hear them talking about clicks and uh, YouTube views and things of that nature. I have not earned a single penny from YouTube off of any of the MMA stuff that I put out there. And I, and, I, and I stress MMA and I'll tell you why in a moment. Not a single penny. This show, I don't earn a single dime off of any views from this show, any downloads off this show. This is the truth. You can either believe me or you can. And if you don't, go ask the CEO of Vox Media, Jim Bankoff. I'm not making any money off of fighters. Now, if you wanna say, oh, I'm making money off of doing this show. Yeah, of course. Like, what did you guys think? For 15 years, how was I going to provide for my family. Like you, th this idea that, oh, journalists make money. Yeah, we make money, of course. Well, I mean, isn't that the whole point?